it's hard, you know, being different. I mean, everybody makes judgments based on looks, and I guess I'm kind of different in the looks department, you know. But, you know, I get up in the morning, I get ready, I go to work, come home, switch on the TV, have a beer, everyday stuff, you know, just same as everyone else out there. I have the same ups and downs, I'm, I'm a normal person. But some people just can't get past how I look, you know. They want to be politically correct. So maybe best friends are penises. But underneath, they all have an illogical fear of genital people in society that will take over or lower the price of their property or steal their women or something. They look at me like I'm, I'm some sort of terrorist. I mean, when I came here first, I, I, I just couldn't get any work. People typecast, you know. I mean, I wanted to be an actor. I loved the stage, but people always want to place you in a box. I ended up working as a pole dancer at a gay club. I mean, it was all right, but the tips were good and the people were really, really nice, but it just wasn't me. I have to have a car because taxis just won't stop for me. It's ridiculous. You try being a six-foot penis on the side of the road at three o'clock in the morning and see if you get a taxi. But the kids are great, you know. The innocents, they just don't have any preconceived notions and they haven't been brainwashed by their parents or media or whatever, you know. They're inquisitive and they just ask, you know, Mammy, what's that man? Where is he from? Why does he look funny? I'll tell you when you're older, but they're trouble, I'll tell you that much. I know you have loves and hopes and dreams like everyone else out there. I I love dancing, going to the movies, surfing and and bonsai trees. Luckily, I have a great bunch of friends and they just accept me for who I am, you know. On the weekend, I'm just one of the lads out there drinking and having the crack. Yeah, of course I like women, you know. I, I, I'd love to have kids someday. And, and I know I'll just meet her and know she's the one. I mean, it could happen here tonight in this bar, you know I mean? Oh my God. It's her. This is it. <clears throat> Hi. This might sound a bit weird, but um, I've been waiting for you all my life. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just saw you and knew you're my soulmate. I'm Richard. It's hard being a dick.